serverless. I gave a talk actually the week before I left for about serverless stuff. And what do I mean by serverless? Um, AWS Lambda. Getting serverless stuff running on on the AWS console is not that easy. It really isn't. So now there's a couple of frameworks. Serverless is one I discovered at AWS reinvent itself at the Heroes Dinner. This guy Austin Collins is behind it. I think he mentioned they recently got a round of funding. And um, I did try it out and I'll give you a little demo. I like it because it allows you to manage lots of uh, JavaScript Lambda functions in one place. Another one that's and it seems it seems quite polished actually. It seems it's got like it's got some backing, right? Um, it's got some funding. Apex is another one I I have noticed before, and um, the reason why I've noticed it is because this TJ Holloway Chuck um, is that his real name? This guy is like internet famous. He's got lots of really good work. I've sort of come you know how how it is on GitHub. You, I, I've just noticed this guy around. And um, and I noticed he's behind this other service sort of framework. The good thing about this one is that it supports GoLang um, binaries. So it, so you're thinking I, didn't I just mention Lambda was was JavaScript? Pretty much is, but you can upload um, a static binary and, and get and j get JavaScript to basically boot it up. Okay, let me show you serverless. So first you install it, then you create using one of their templates. And then you'll find basically a YAML file where you describe your Lambda functions. For me, I want to go to Singapore, uh, Southeast one. The function itself is sort of defined here. You set a handler for it and the handler is implemented here. So I can go, you know, Go YouTube or something like that. And then um, once you set that stuff up, I think all you need to do is serverless deploy and you're away. The thing with serverless, it does take a few seconds to get going and it creates a stack, uh, a cloud formation template, sorry, and, um, and it creates an S3 bucket. I'm not really big fans of that because when I've been playing around with it, I'll, I I resent having to clean it up manually. I'm probably missing a trick. But let me show you something else which about serverless which captivated my attention. There's a there's a Git repo for examples, and there's one of the examples is called AWS Node Serve Dynamic Blah 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 Blah. But if you look at this example right here. You have the handler, but notice this events HTTP path thing. Um, I was thinking, ooh, does this link up to the API gateway really nicely? Yes, it does. So basically, you know, four four lines in the YAML, and it and it links you up with the API gateway. Doing this manually in the console, um, it's it's a nightmare. You got to trust me. So plus one for. Um, for serverless here. Let's also deploy this one, shall we? See if we can deploy in parallel. Okay, great. This one's finished. Ooh, didn't like that one. Serve HTML, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, let's, let's just call this serve HTML. Deploy. So here I've created a Lambda function. Um, hmm. Come on, guys. Show me the Lambda function. I'm not too sure why it doesn't show up in code. Hmm. But yeah, doing this all manually, as you may or may not know, is a bit of a pain. So what it's done here is pretty nice. Let's quickly get a taste of uh, how, 
how quick the iterations are. Bit too much time. Okay, so that one is done. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this. But let's let me just show you where I like where serverless shines with the API gateway stuff. Come on, API gateway. Okay, so check this out. Cool, huh? I think uh, it can. That's awesome, isn't it? So serverless API gateway linking up in one YAML file. Kind of sweet. Right, guys, let me show you Apex. So YouTube builds uh, demo. So the problem I found here is that it can take some time for the logs, uh, for the um, the whole thing to be set up. So yeah, mm -hmm. but if you have, you basically have to wait. Yeah. So I know serverless uses CloudFormation and um, Apex. I don't think does. So I think this is the problem with Apex is that it's faster, but um, um, then you get these weird errors. Sorry. Has anyone of you guys fiddled around with Terraform? Um, I was thinking of trying to use it with ECS. Right. So. Let me just show you what's an Apex. They, they give you, I like it because it's a little bit simpler, you know, uh, they just give you this sort of handle in a, in a, in a, in a sort of index.js individual file, unlike um, serverless. So let's just, uh, okay, now it's working. Woohoo! And then I can, I think, uh, is it minus F? Oh no, um, how do you, how do you, uh, okay, invoke, uh, what did I call it? Okay, I, the cool thing is you can just do Apex list here, okay, uh, invoke hello. You know, how, how, how quick is that compared to, um, actually, let me just show you where, it, where it gets really fast when you, when you're doing like deploy. That's quick, isn't it? Uh, that's really quick compared to serverless. Uh, you can even like uh, roll back, which I found quite cool. Um, I mean, that's really, really fast. I'm liking that a lot. Right. In the Apex examples, something I really, really like is that you can integrate Golang, as I mentioned. So I have my Golang binary here. I mean, I'm on a binary, my, my source code. I'm actually um, acting on like a raw message passed by the um, by uh, the JavaScript shim, but like you might be wondering, how does it all work? How does it all work? The cool thing is you can go Apex build, and then you can have a look at the shim. You can see how it runs the uh, spawns the the GoLang binary, and um, it even includes the the templates that I left with the binary. Um, so I like the fact that Apex integrates well with GoLang. But I do need to figure out how to like do an S3 copy once the process has been run. And I haven't really figured out how to do that. And Apex support community seems a bit lacking. So I'm thinking I have to do this all by hand, sadly. I'm impressed with Apex because of the speed of development. And I like the API, it's quite nice. Um, so I hope that gives you a taste of what, what little serverless um, tools are out there and I really hope to see more and see them uh, improve because I think it's easier to use these things than doing it by hand although I say that but I'm going to have to do this lambda function at work by hand because of this S3 business I have to do at the end of the Golang process ah!